Hey everyone, welcome back to Car Physics in Unity. Today I will talk about wheel collider suspension. But before that, let me show you the new map that I'm using. One of our community members from Discord has made this. This track is based on the real model of SPA Frank or Champs track. And you can get this from his Patreon or contact him in Discord. I will put all the links in the description. So first I brought a 3D car model here and I added some mesh colliders and made them convex. Then I added rigid body and wheel colliders. The rigid body mass is 1000 kg and it's important to add at least one collider to the car. Don't forget it. For wheel colliders I didn't change the mass. Set radius to fit the tires and then we come to damping. To understand what damping ratio is, take a look at this spring here in Wikipedia. As the time goes, the spring oscillation range reduces and that's because of damping. Damping acts against our system and dissipates the energy that a spring system has. So energy lowers over time until we reach a stop. And in wheel collider, a value of zero means no energy is wasted and the car springs oscillate forever. And that's an unwanted behavior here. So you want to set a value above zero here to terminate unstability in your car. The suspension distance is very straightforward. It shows the range the spring can be stretched and compressed at maximum and minimum. And you can control the equilibrium through target position. Target position is the point on suspension which the wheels stay at when the car is on a flat ground and no other forces are acting on it except its weight. I have attached a script to the car to adjust some settings and print out the current force the wheels are applying to the ground. There is also a constant force component in here for applying forces and see how the results change. So when I play the game we get a force around 10,000 and the mass of our car is 1,000 kilograms. You might say that we should be getting 98.10 Newton, but there is always some difference in the numbers we get because Unity's wheel collider is not accurate enough, but it gets the job done. So let's just start adding some downforce and you can see the higher the force we apply, the greater the wheel's force become. And if the force changes to positive, you see the force lowers. Let me also show you the script I have attached to the car. It's very simple, it sums the normal force of all the wheels and prints them. We have come to the end of this video. It was very short cause actually there is not much considering the wheel collider suspension. For future videos we talk about other things that we should do for having a good suspension. And the next video will be about sideways motion. Good luck and I will see you next time.